Let's talk about power. What is electricity and how does it work? The power plants that make our electricity also produce about a quarter of U.S. climate pollution. That's why cutting power plant pollution is one of the most impactful things that President Biden can do. He has the authority to do just that, but he's running out of time. That's why we're going to achieve a carbon pollution-free electric sector by the year 2035. We often talk about fighting climate change by electrifying sectors like transportation, buildings, and even some industries. But for electrification to decarbonize those sectors, we need to generate electricity with less pollution. EPA already has the authority to set pollution limits for power plants under the Clean Air Act. They have authority over a ton of dangerous stuff like mercury, soot, coal ash, and importantly, carbon pollution. EPA's specific authority to set a limit on this power plant climate pollution comes from two sections of the Clean Air Act. Section 111D gives EPA authority to regulate carbon pollution from existing power plants. Section 111B gives EPA the authority to regulate new power plants. These rules are a huge deal. When President Biden took office, the United States power sector was projected to emit 1.2 billion tons of climate pollution in the year 2030. The Inflation Reduction Act cut that projection by 25% to 900 million tons. Strong 111B and 111D rules would have nearly the same impact, cutting another 25% of projected emissions. This would put us within reach of President Biden's climate goals, including a 100% clean power sector by 2035. And these rules only need the approval of President Biden and his EPA Administrator Michael Regan, meaning they don't need to go through the Republican-controlled House. And let's be clear, this isn't just something we want EPA to do. The Clean Air Act requires Administrator Regan to regulate climate pollution from power plants. Even the Supreme Court in their wrongly decided ruling in West Virginia v. EPA, did not challenge this underlying authority. If that wasn't enough, EPA's authority was reinforced by Congress in the Inflation Reduction Act. EPA said they would release their proposed 111B and 111D regulations in summer of 2022. That didn't happen. Instead, they delayed that timeline to March 2023. Then, they delayed again to April. Meanwhile, a colossal wildfire, record rainfall, a state of emergency. The climate crisis is already wreaking havoc, and the longer we take to act, the worse it's going to get. And we know that updating rules like 111B and 111D takes time, like years. Administrator Regan needs to get the final version of these rules published by the end of 2023. But first, the rules need to go through a lengthy review and public comment period, which can take a full year on its own, which means there isn't much time left. President Biden promised to cut climate pollution in half by 2030. The climate law that Congress just passed will help, but he'll fall short unless he uses his strongest tools, new standards to take on climate pollution from power plants. You can help. Call on President Biden to use his most effective tools to fight climate change and make EPA go further faster to regulate pollution from the power sector.